That's why the Most High telling us not to be caught up in their sins. Because you really said, hear what he said. He's going to discover their sins, the sins that they have done. Oh, yeah, this is, this is real, y'all. This is real as can be. He's going to discover their sins. So you're going to be right with them. That's why I say come out of her. Just to everyone that's looking at the things that people are doing wrong. That's contrary to the most High's laws. <laughs> Look, Lamentation 5 and 1. Remember, O Most High, what has come upon us. Who to us? The 12 tribes of Israel. He said, consider and behold our reproach. He said, consider, behold our disgrace. I mean, we are a sad case, man. But we ask the Most High to consider our reproach, man. Our inheritance is turned to strangers. Our land is turned to strangers. Our houses to aliens. They the real aliens. We are orphans and fatherless. Our mothers are as widows. It's cold, man. But here we are. Still. In this year. Rebellious. Don't want to come back to the most high. Go to Hosea. The ninth chapter, the ninth verse. Hosea 9 and 9. They have deeply corrupted themselves. See, deeply corrupted themselves. As in the days of Gilbeah. Therefore, he will remember their iniquity. He will visit their sins. See? See, we can't really look at... Uh, we got a clear path to the kingdom with no change. Cause we've been reproached. We've been disgraced completely. Well, now we're coming back to the law says commandments. We have some type of dignity to, dignity to come out of this reproach and integrity to show forth the righteousness That we should have with the Most High, keeping His laws, and commandments, so we wouldn't be rebellious. We can look on us, on us yeah. again and love us without yeah. having to deal with uh, all the different problems that we have. Yeah, it's We can hear you, whoever that is. We can hear you talking. You need to mute your phone. Yeah. You know, so it's very important that we uh, we change. It's all about change, y'all. That's all. It's about change. And it's not hard to um, to change once you realize that you've got to keep the laws of the Most High. You know, that's simple. Just keep the laws of the Most High and we're going to be all right. He told us. Told us that. Look, um, Deuteronomy 28, 1 and 2. The book of Deuteronomy, it's talking to the 12 tribes of Israel. He said, Hey, and it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Most High, thy power, the Most High, our power, thy power is your power, to observe and to do all his commandments which I command thee this day. That the Most High, thy power, your power, will set thee on high, how high? Above all nations of the earth. That's what we read about in a, a little glimpse of the kingdom when we went to uh, um, what was it? Um, Isaiah. Isaiah 60 and 12. You see? The kingdom, the nation, the kingdom that will not serve thee shall perish. Yeah. 
They're on the surface, they're gonna be utterly wasted. So that's when the most high gonna set the righteous Israelites, most high will it be us? I will set thee on high above all nations of the earth in a righteous kingdom. And all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee. This condition, if thou shalt hearken, meaning listen, unto the voice of the Most High, thy power. So from a voice come words, and I shall I say, I'm the word of the Most High. So we got to listen to him. You know? Most High said, hey, I, that's where I'm at. I'm going to go to my place till we acknowledge our offense. See, I'm married to you. I ain't married to you no more. I'm giving you my son, man. Y'all, You deal with him. You deal with them. Here we are now, in these last days, trying to make it. Man. Go to Judges, the 19th chapter. Judges 19, and we're going to start at verse 1. And it came to pass in those days when there was no king in Israel, that there was a certain Levite sojourning on the side of Mount Ephraim, who took to him a concubine out of Bethlehem, Judah. Right? So he took a concubine out of Bethlehem, Judah. And his concubine played the whore against him. He's playing the whore against him. And went away from him unto her father's house, to Bethlehem, Judah. And was there four whole months. She left him. Went back to her father's house for four whole months. That's playing a whore. And her husband arose and went after her to speak freely unto her and to bring her again back to him, having his servant with him. Took his servant with him, so he went talking to her, you know, speaking some friendly words, some kind words in her ears to get her back to him. And a couple of asses he took with him. And she brought him into her father's house. And when the father of the damsel saw him, he rejoiced to meet him. He was glad to meet him. That he came, you know, to his house. And his father-in-law, the damsel's father, retained him. And he abode with him three days. So, did, so they did eat and drink and lies there. So they feasted him. Three days. And it came to pass on the fourth day, when they arose early in the morning, that he rose up to depart. And the damsel's father said unto his son-in-law, Comfort thine heart, comfort your mind with a morsel of bread, and afterward go your way. He said, Come on, eat some bread with me, then go your way. And they sat down and did eat and drink, both of them together, the father-in-law and the son-in-law. For the damsel's father had said unto the man, Be content. Be content, I pray thee, and tarry all night, and let thine heart be merry. Another day, and Levite, the husband of the woman that was slain, Salakia, and when the man rose up to depart, his father-in-law urged him, therefore he lies there again. Come on, stay another night. Just a moment. 